In this week's episode, we decide it's finally time to make a move and get sailing back into Greece. So we do our first big provision to stock up Escapade. Then we once again have a few hiccups that delay us checking out of Turkey. Something is wrong with our rigging and Jason contracts the spicy cough. Stay tuned. I'm Janae and this is Jason. We've embarked on the adventure of a lifetime. We're two ocean-loving Aussies travelling the world by sailboat and making movies along the way. Tune in every week for new episodes. Enjoy and don't forget to subscribe. G'day world. So the plan today is to do a bit of washing. We've got a few days we decided we're going to head into Greece soon. Um, but we've got a nice day finally. It's been pissing down with rain like the last four or five days. And I've really wanted to test our solar system out. And I haven't been able to do that yet as it's been cloudy and raining and all sorts. But check out today. How good is that? So we're just gonna, yeah, do our laundry, do a, do a provision, like a proper provision, and then, yeah, just get ready to go. Really, I think. Get all, get all our last minute parts and everything we need. We need a few parts for the water maker and that, and then we're good to rock and roll. Start moving again, which will be good. I was looking at a few anchorages this morning, which got me really excited to start moving. But the thing I'm just worried about is, is the wind, but it is what it is. You gotta get past your fears sometimes. Thank you. Did you wipe the seat for me? I did. Okie dokie. There's a little bit of wetness there. That's it. Wipe it with my hand. Oh, look at that service. My darling. <laughs> The Mamaris Grand Bazaar. It's and it's closed because it's out of season. Yeah, it opens every now and then. Some of them do, yeah. So I've made us have a dentist appointment. When I was doing the solar, I, um, <laughs> I chip, chipped my tooth, tried to pull the wire out and chip the side. Oh, it's here, look, it's really close. Got a new on the boat. How good's the dentist, huh? What's that? How good's the dentist? <laughs> Whoops! Thanks, Jason. The dentist was a great price at 400 lira or about 40 Aussie dollars for a checkup and clean. Turkey is known for dental work much cheaper than Western countries, so it's a great place to get any dental work done while you're there. We are stocked up. We'll show you everything when we get it back to the boat. Jason's just gone over there to get our meat in bulk, which will then vacuum seal and freeze. Yeah, it did pretty well. It came to, I think, about $167. It's pretty cheap. Um, they're going to deliver it all for us. And they're going to. our groceries that we bought. In Migros, they're going to deliver that to us. Which what is legends? Super good. They yeah. must be coming now. Yay! How good. That wasn't going to be fun. It's just there, <laughs> I think. He probably thinks we've got way more than we do. <laughs> we got a lot. How good. <laughs> right into the water. Well, that was easy. Jason's coming over with the tender now. 
doesn't actually look like that much stuff, but it was quite a bit. Yeah, I know. We don't want to get stuff wet. I got a feeling it's the moment my life's gonna start. I got the feeling when the windows roll down in the car. I got the feeling if I want. All right, we're all finished with day one provisioning. So we pretty much just got all stuff that we could get on sale here and stocked up on that. Um, and things that are cheaper here than Greece, which is pretty much most things. Um, and like 90% of it is all just stuff that can go in the bilges. Um, we did get a few fresh things. I did film everything we bought, but it goes for way too long. So I'll pop up a separate video in this playlist linked above for those of you who are interested later this week. We actually got most of it in here. We got all the cleaning products there, which is nice and easy to get to. This is probably the easiest floor to take out. And then all our tin food, granola, just a few little extras there. And then that goes all the tin food all up in there too. So making the most of the space. Hey darling. I'm not thinking it'll fit in here. They bloody better. I don't even know if these are lamb chunks either. They look weird. No, they're lamb chunks. Don't lamb chunks normally just look like big giant chicken drumsticks, like round? No, they're lamb shanks for sure. They're giving us like a, just like a leg. Like, I don't know. So I'm gonna vacuum seal all of our meat in like pre-portion sizes now. So even though this isn't the right portion because it's just in glad wrap, I'll um, vacuum seal it and then it kind of stops it getting um, like moisture in there, keeps it a little bit nicer. So I've got two sizes. I think I've usually been using this. This is just good for like one chicken breast, they're pretty small. And then we've got the roll that came with the vacuum sealer. So you can actually cut this to the length you want and just seal one side before you put the meat in, then seal the other side. Um, yeah, so, and then what I do is we went and bought like a decent permanent marker and we just write what it is, just keep it simple. Um, so like if it's chicken, we'll write two chicken breasts, one chicken breast, and then obviously just what these are. Yeah, I'll show you when we're done. Alright, we're all done. Didn't take too long actually. So we got our eye fillet, our cutlets, and a couple of lamb shanks. So now just to fit it in the freezer, it's gonna be fun. We just fit it all in there, packed to the brim. And after doing all those groceries in true adult style, we went out for dinner instead of eating at home. So what are your thoughts of this place, darling? It's yummy, I'm excited, and it's so warm in here. And what have you ordered? Super margarita, so it's like margarita with buffalo mozzarella and then the goat's cheese one which is one of their new pizzas and I wanted it last time, so oh, fingers crossed. It's dirty, we're gonna get fat. <laughs> not that we aren't already. <laughs> You're not, just me. It should be good though, I'll we'll show you guys when we get it, if I don't dig into it already. Yum! So this is the buffalo margarita and the goat's cheese. Looks good. That's a special margarita. Yeah. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. We have another day of provisioning today. We're actually going to get a new block um, for here. This one keeps getting caught. The rope gets stuck inside here, especially um, when we do like an accidental jive or something like that. So that'll be good to get that done. It's very, very unsafe what we've got there at the moment. And then um, we might be getting a new anchor possibly. We'll see if we can get a good deal on one, but they got, um, Turkey makes the ultra anchors, which are probably one of the best you can buy, I think. Um, but yeah, they're expensive because they're stainless steel. They're not galvanized. But we'll see, see if we can get a good deal. Fingers crossed. 
take my mask off. <laughs> we need to buy one still, but we just um, went past one of the shops. Come this way. And um, there was a stray cat outside and it looked so unwell. Like it looked like it had been in a fight. And its ear was all like black and bloody inside. And it's, it was like kind of drooling from the mouth. Eyes infected. Its eyes are all infected. And then I pat it and it had heaps of food and water. People have been feeding it. But I pat it and it was like anorexic. So I feel really bad. I don't want to leave it. So we've just gone, walked like bloody kilometers to a vet just to ask him if it was okay to bring her in, him or her. And they've just let us borrow this for now to go pick her up. But um, we will buy one with the donations. So next time it'll be a bit easier. So yeah, we're gonna pick her up and take her into the vet. And hopefully they can at least see what's wrong fix her ear and everything up. Yeah. Yeah. It's really sad to see it. It's horrible. money mm -hmm. for some of the street animals so <laughs> we're just getting showing people I guess where their donations go and I like Whoa. it So the markets were open today so we went and got a whole bunch of fresh produce which obviously most of this all the fresh stuff is just for the next week or two um and then we got some nuts so i'll suction pack like vacuum seal some of these away um we spent a bit at the nut place it was like 45 australian dollars they're not really any cheaper here but they're really young just going back to check on the kitty cat and see what's happening with the blood tests and whatever else you have to do. And then we're gonna get some milk because it's the only thing left. It's getting upset about the cat. I just feel bad. Because we've like helped her, but then I don't want to like put her back out on the street, but we can't have her, so. Yeah, it's hard. Just coming to check on the little kitty today. Mm, she's doing better. She's got a little IV drip in. And we've been treating her ears for the mites. And she's been eating all her dry food and wet food. So she's doing better. Um, we're just trying to see if we can get her into a shelter. But we need to raise ongoing money because it costs about 60 to 70 Australian dollars per month to keep her in a shelter for our food and litter 
and about eighty dollars to get her vaccinations yeah. done to do that. So we're really hoping we can make something work. So we don't have to put her back on the street, the poor little thing. Otherwise, she's probably just going to get the ear mites back. She's got no teeth, so she can't protect herself. So yeah, crossing our fingers. A few days after filming this, we committed to sponsoring this gentle little soul. I couldn't bear the thought of putting her back on the street. We named her Mila. The vet fur hat actually told us something pretty interesting. Cats with three colours are almost always female gender. If you'd ever like to donate, our GoFundMe link is in the description of all of our videos. Your kind donations is what made this possible. We'll receive monthly updates from Mila's carer in Turkey and post them on our Instagram, so give us a follow to see her progress. We got some tape to retape our stairs. So the grip is like, it's actually slippery. That's how bad it's gotten. So we're gonna replace that. We'll have like so much of this left. So I don't know if we can find other places and it might come in handy, but um, so this will be our next job. Get this off, which is probably gonna be really fun to do <laughs> and replace it. Um, and we bought some teak oil. So we're going to oil um, our shower grate because it's gotten a little bit kind of shabby um, and underneath was starting to kind of get a bit soft, like almost rotting. So we sanded it back underneath. So it's all kind of, there is a few bits that are a little bit funny, but so we'll re-oil that. And that's it. So I thought it was going to be a lot harder to get this off, but I just like pricked it with my finger and it started peeling. So I've just like lifted it with a knife and it's come off super easy. So they weren't glued on. They were just, it was just the adhesive, like what this is, the new stuff that we've bought. So yeah, be a lot easier than what I expected. Not so easy to do with one hand, but anyway. So just clean it really well after and then stick the new stuff on there you go that one's come off way more clean you can see how much the wood's faded because this is the wood underneath so this is the color that it started but these stairs are pretty trashed so they were a little bit kind of um damaged when we bought the boat like the floors are just a little bit chipped but we probably made it a lot worse, probably because we're not being careful because it was already slightly damaged, but it definitely needs a bit of a fix up. But for now, we've got loads of this anyway, so we'll probably just fix the tape for now. And when we go and do some restoration work later on, we can fix them up a bit. So I kept the old one and then I just pulled this out, use it as a stencil. Um, but we're just gonna keep them the thickness of this roll. So they are a little bit thicker, but we've just done kind of like the same length and curved. So I just kind of tried to follow a little bit of that. And I did try and scrape off like the old um, like adhesive, leftover adhesive. Um, so I tried isopropyl alcohol, tried scraping it. It's not really coming off that well and it's gonna take like probably a couple of hours to do it. So because the stairs are pretty shabby, we're not gonna worry. I'm just gonna stick it on top and see how it goes. And then um, when we redo the stairs properly and like actually fix them up and re-varnish them and all of that, sand them back, I'll, um, we'll just redo it then because we've got like a giant roll there. So yeah, so I'm gonna pop them on. All done. Definitely makes the stairs look a little bit more new, but I'm not gonna lie, it was a bit of a dodgy job because the varnish is starting to like 
lift on the edges as well and I kind of just chucked it over the top of it but it's not really a looks thing it's just so that we have a bit more grip until we redo the stairs because yeah we don't want people coming coming and slipping over and they were honestly so slippery and so like when we're coming up and down all the time at least we don't have to be so careful you go through stages where it just gets real slippery. really slippery it could be like when i'm cleaning it so yeah it's good and we got a giant roll so we can redo it as much as we want anyway and then when we actually like fix the stairs to make them look better we can redo it and i've really contributed with it yeah i've, I've been motivational go you don't go The heat is on the menu tonight. Jason cooked this up. Again. Looks good. I taught him how to do this. <laughs> yeah. The roasted peppers. But um, we didn't have any red onions, which we didn't realize. So anyway, should be yummy. This me cooking, so it's probably gonna be pretty average. No, it looks good. Good job. Hello. It is only... Well, it was supposed to be a couple of days until we checked out of Turkey to check back into Greece. Um, we were editing our episode the other day where Jason gets up the mast in the marina. And when we're looking at the video, we noticed um, something didn't look right with our rigging um, where our mast was. So um, we ended up getting a rigging guy to come and quote us for a rigging tune and a possible um, like redo of the rigging which we probably weren't going to do but it's good just to get an idea of how much it'll cost anyway um, he, we're waiting for a quote from him but he won't be able to do anything until the end of the week so we're probably going to end up staying a few more days than we originally planned which is fine because we're not on a deadline to check out anyway um, he thinks that we need our force day replaced which should fix the problem but he is yet to get up and actually do a proper inspection up the top um, because we have to be in a marina for that. Um, but if we go ahead with replacing the force day, we have to go into mar a marina, so then he can do the inspection, um, and then he can actually write a letter that we can show our insurance, um, because our rigging would be coming up for a replacement um, with most insurance companies. It's coming up to 10 years in about less than six months. Um, so hopefully, if we have that letter from him that it's been inspected, um, apparently our rigging's in really good condition. It's just the force day that should fix the problem up the top. Um, I'll show you guys what we're talking about. Um, yeah, so we're just going to pump out because it's been just over two weeks. So we'll go and pump our waist out and then we're just coming back into the bay. Yeah. And it's a beautiful day. Finally, the wind has stopped and it's sunny. It's only like supposed to be 11 degrees or something today. Um, but it definitely feels a little bit warmer now that the wind's dropped off. So hopefully it stays this way and we get a few nice days. Mr. Jason over here is sick and he's never had a COVID test ever and we're about to do one from home from the boat just to rule it out hopefully we're all good but yeah we did go out Saturday night and yeah it's now Wednesday yeah so fingers crossed it's just a cold Which one do you want me to go? Whatever. Tell me when Maybe it feels. Okay, tell me when it feels a bit funny. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh. Stay still. Babe, I've got to put it up a bit further. 
It says two and a half centimetres. I felt like that was two and a half centimetres. <laughs> no? I don't think it felt like it. Okay, just... go. Quick. Not too hard, though. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> it hasn't been 20 minutes yet for the test, but I see a faint line on T. Uh oh. Oh no. We're gonna have to message everyone and yeah, tell them. Message everyone. Or wait. Or wait till the 20 minutes is up or 30. But that looks positive. Shit. Back to yesterday. Jason is positive. So now I'm gonna do a test just to make sure we'll see what's going on. Because I've got a bit of a blocked nose. I don't really feel sick, but my voice has been croaky for a few days too, so what I better check as well. <sighs> it's watering. <laughs> I did it way more than you did too. I'm negative. 